It's vlog of day 642. Morning. I got stuff to do today. I've got voice acting to do, which is a surprise for two documentaries. So we'll see that. Gonna see Sonya for lunch. Have a phone call with Insta Freebie. And I gotta get packed because um, I got, well, not only do I have to get rid of all this stuff, but I'm actually gonna try and go somewhere this weekend. So it's all kind of crazy pants around here. I also was gonna try and meet my friend Lauren this morning for coffee, depending on whether or not she had a tour. We'll see if she's there or not, but I'm running late now. So let's, enough preamble. Like, that's the preview of the day. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Sonya in like two months. It's been a long time. Maybe not two months. I gotta pay my taxes today. So that's my quarterly taxes. My annual taxes apparently are send me a form that say, hey, this is what you owe. And then it should actually be much simpler than paying taxes in the States. I would say I'm looking forward to that, but only, you know, in a relative sense. Holy cow. They've got trades stacked on top of each other today. I also need to finish getting information to my designer for my book, Couriers. I haven't figured out a couple of really important things that need to go in the book, including some information for the copyright page. I gotta be on top of that. This is again a very full train. The scheduling did not work out for lunch with Sonya in the end. So I stayed and worked and now I've got to go do the voice acting thing, but I need to nail down some food first. I'm not sure what to do for food. I don't want a hot dog. I've had too many hot dogs in recent memory. I don't want a sandwich. I'm just gonna go out there. The bakery, the bakery out there is a little bit cheaper and it's not bad, so I think I can make it until I get out to CNRS. So that'll be my goal. We'll just make our way out there. I'm gonna be really hungry by the time I get there though. train strikes, the next train from here is not till 4.15 p.m. because SNCF is striking all summer, so I have to actually go back on the metro, find my way around. Good thing I came early, because I'm probably not gonna be on time. I think, man, I wanna get some food for the road though, if I'm gonna, uh, well, let's, we'll figure this out. <laughs> Downside to taking the tram is now I have to walk all the way up the hill. I'm not even sure what direction. I mean, I'll figure it out. You know what I mean. I also didn't want, I, this is camera number five, I haven't marked it yet, but I didn't want everyone to miss out on the cherry blossoms. There's a good cherry blossom shot on camera four, but I figured we should try to figure out a way to make a postcard out of at least one. Let's see if this works. Turns out, should have taken one down in the Marais while I was down there, but I just don't want, they're all gonna fall off. Like one of these days they're just gonna be gone and I'll have missed my opportunity. So that's the only photo I'll take on this one until I finish camera four. Speaking of, this is really cool. Oh. Well, there you have it. This guy's toast. So if you want camera four, giving this away in total. I'm gonna, I think I can give this one, I do the postcards themselves for only $5 backers and up. But if you're a $3 backer and up, you can put your name in for this. I will post it on Patreon, hopefully today. And then I'll send this off to whoever wants it. One of you is gonna get this thing in its entirety. You can develop it, do with it as you please. Hopefully share the results of this, but it's gonna cease to exist as far as I'm concerned as soon as I send it off, so.
quiche. I wanted a sandwich, but they didn't have sandwiches. And the other bakery was closed. And now I'm getting hungry, whiny. I'll be fine. I gotta go check in with security. Then it's time to record a couple scripts. So what's it like doing some voice acting for CNRS? You might be wondering, well, Instead of having to wear this ridiculous visitor's badge, right now it's a lot of sitting around waiting. We're getting the sound set up. They didn't have one of the videos actually rendered uh, the way that I don't actually know what's going on. They're figuring something out. So I'm gonna go get a coffee with Nick's keychain because I'm having a hard time staying awake. And then, uh, you know, back to the sitting around and we'll see what happens from there. Say I hope you're feeling better. These coffee machines are highly reminiscent of the ones in Sezi, except taller. A little bit simpler, hopefully tastier too. Pretty sure this is how it's supposed to work. Hold the stick to the thing, so then choose the drink. No? Turns out you have to do both at the same time. For those of you who ever need to know how to do that. The way it works in here then eventually is that the mixer mixes. The Nicola, Nicola's and I, EJ's. IJ. We actually, Nicola goes back over the text one more time just to make sure everything's accurate, and then we kind of talk about it after that a little bit. He runs it on his computer, which is then linked to the iPad through what documents do we do? Is that the Google Docs? Google so we can actually edit it on the fly. And then I'll sit in the sound booth with the iPad and read in here and try to do a nice voice of some sort, feel only mildly self-conscious doing that on camera for some reason. And uh, yeah, that's it. And then they, they, they do the magic after that to put it together and make it sound the best that it can, take the best options. So eventually that's what happens. Are we gonna, what, how close are we to recording now? Well, pretty close. Yeah. So then from inside here, is where the real magic happens. And by real magic, I mean the least magical part. Whatever the sound engineer does is the most magical part. I don't think they can hear me right now, so I'm just kind of like talking a little bit for the sake of it. I've recorded most of this one. It's toasty in here. Especially when talking about infrared light, which is invisible which is invisible to humans. We split the load. All in all successful, but we only did one today. <laughs> which after doing four last time seems under ambitious. Hey, I hope you're feeling... Mwah. I was gonna say good morning, but it is the end of the day. I ran into a little bit of a problem because the trains were on strike, as we know, and uh, getting back in time for my call with InstaFreebie turned into a problem, and then my phone ran out of battery, and even putting on an airplane mode didn't save enough. So I was a little bit late for my phone call, but we had a great phone call. It's crazy to think that the second course is pretty much over. That contract is up, but we're gonna be work moving on into a, a third course here soon, so I'm sure I'll talk about that a little bit as we go. Great talk with them, crazy day, really busy. I still need to get a lot of stuff done tonight, and I have a full day of teaching tomorrow and some severe madness coming this weekend so with that I'm just gonna leave you guys hopefully the day was enjoyable for you as it was productive for me and we will just see where tomorrow takes us it got over 80 degrees today like 81 degrees I think today it's nuts super warm around here it's like pretty much summer I love it I gotta figure out what to do with myself anywho I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for a wonderful day filled with English teaching the best. See ya.